I'm going to show you how to change the default circulation sounds in your Destiny account. After signing in, simply navigate to the Admin tab in the blue section at the top. And then on the gray sidebar, click on Site Configuration. Under that, you'll see another menu at the top. Click on Circulation. And scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here's the circulation sounds. You have the option to change any of these alerts by recording your own sound file or uploading one that you found on the web. You can even choose from a list that Destiny offers, but to me, they left a lot to be desired. To see those, click on the icon here for Destiny Help, and then this link here. And you can follow the directions here to change your sounds. You'll have to download it and then upload it into Destiny. So if you want to change one, you click the Change button. You can play the current sound, choose your new file here from your computer, click Upload, and then Save. If you decide not to do it, you can restore it to the original sound. The file needs to be a WAV file with a max length of two seconds. And don't forget to hit the Save button here. Here are the ones I chose for my library. When we're just checking in and out and there's nothing wrong with their accounts, we get this sound. It's Mario. All the gamers love that one. And then if something's wrong and there's an error message on the screen, read the screen. That's actually a recording of my voice saying, read the screen because nobody reads those error messages. And then when we have a fine or an overdue, they get very gently scolded by the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. No, 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 I'm overdue. That's a big hit. And then when a hold is available, they get SpongeBob. I'm ready! <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Here is a tip for you. If you find a sound clip online, but it's only available in MP3 format, you can use a free file converter. And this is one that I really like. It's called freeconvert.com slash wave dash converter. And you just choose your files from your computer here, wherever you have it saved. And then once you um, choose your file here, you can edit using the gear icon and you can trim off the beginning of it or trim off the end and you can get it just to the right length that you need.